Good day fellow Barnt fans. The rumors of Daniel Craig leaving the role of Barnt are still flooding the media, with the most recent rumor being that he turned down a 68 million dollar offer to return in the role of Barnt. It sure seems to look like we've seen the last of Danny Boy in the role, but I'm keeping my hopes up since there still hasn't been any official confirmation from Eon or Daniel Craig himself. But obviously the media is already speculating who the next Barnt would be. Tom Hiddleston, Henry Cavill, Tom Hardy, Damian Lewis, or my current top pick, Aiden Turner. I mean, if Craig doesn't return, I really hope it's gonna be this guy. But anyway, more recently, someone else joined in on the bidding, Gillian Anderson. A woman. It's nothing new to see actresses be interested in the role of Bond. It even happened during the 90s with rumors of Sharon Stone being considered before Braston ultimately got the part. And now it's happening again with Miss Anderson. And I'm just gonna throw it out there. As a diehard Bond fan, I think a female Bond would just be a terrible idea. To be honest, to me it's the exact same thing by going with a black Bond or a homosexual Bond or whatever other progressive roads Eon has considered to supposedly show off that Bond is going along with the time. Times. Now don't get me wrong, I'm all for Bond moving along with their times, I feel the character has always done so throughout all these years. Of course Bond doesn't randomly slap women around on their asses anymore, he doesn't smoke anymore either and despite what lots of feminists believe, the series have always made an effort to bring in strong and independent women throughout the years. Honor Blackman and Diana Rick as far back as in the 1960s were very strong characters with Diana Rick ultimately winning Bond's heart and marrying him in Honor Majesty's Secret Service and she's still considered to be one of the best Bond girls ever. They gave Bond an equal in 1977's The Spy Who Loved Me with a fellow agent who doesn't play around or fall for Bond's charms immediately and they repeated bringing in similar characters like that for countless times. They went with a very strong female character with some emotional background in 1981's For Your Eyes Only and heck when the 90s started they introduced a female M who wiped the floor with Bond's sexist ways and is arguably the best M yet. Good. Because I think you're a sexist, misogynist dinosaur, a relic of the Cold War, whose boyish charms, though wasted on me, obviously appeal to that young woman I sent out to evaluate you. Point taken. Not quite, 007. If you think for one moment I don't have the balls to send a man out to die, your instincts are dead wrong. I have no compunction about sending you to your death. But I won't do it on a whim, even with your cavalier attitude towards life. And furthermore, the series introduced a black money penny with Naomi Harris, who I also find absolutely amazing in the role. So what's my deal with a black or female or homosexual Bond? Well, let's just say that Eon decides to go with a female James Bond next. Obviously, the series need to be rebooted once again, unless they explain that Bond had a sex change or something. But I think in the first few movies, a female Bond would probably turn out to be a massive hit. Bond would be using men for her pleasure to get out information and she would kill them in cold blood and she would have beauty and brains. I'm sure it would really work and it'd be an exciting new gimmick that modern audiences love to see, especially those feminists who've been giving the franchise so much slack. But then there have to be more Bond movies coming after that and that gimmick would probably already be a bit less interesting. We still need to have original adventures for our female Bond that still make it feel like an actual Bond movie. Are the titles now going to say Gillian Anderson as Ian Fleming's Jane Bond 007? Because obviously Fleming didn't come up with that. And what about the Bond girls? Will they still be around or are they gonna be Bond boys now? Or will our female Bond just be a lesbian? And what about the classic chemistry between Bond and Moneypenny that the series have always had? Will Moneypenny be a man now? You see, I think by going down this path, eventually the series would just end up losing their authenticity by being so far removed from Fleming and far from what the actual Die Hard fans want that the series would just end up being rebooted once again. Because inevitably after a few movies of a female Bond or homosexual Bond or whatever, there will be a time that audiences want to see an original Bond again. Hey man, did you hear? They're returning Bond to his roots. They're now actually gonna go with an heterosexual Caucasian man again. I heard he might even be using women for pleasure. He's gonna fall in love with this one chick who breaks his heart and stuff. I've heard it's exactly like the old movies and from the source material that that guy Fleming wrote about with the original novels and stuff. It's gonna be the best Bond ever, dude.
You see, I understand the reasoning to meet political expectations by making him female or black or a homosexual, heck even transgender or whatever. But to me, part of the whole fun of the character of James Bond as Fleming invented him is that he's not politically correct. We will always need characters that give him slack for that, sure, but ultimately Bond has always been a bit of a misogynist, a blunt instrument wielded by the British government with a license to kill, who is scarred by the woman he loved and now puts his job above everything. Sometimes he might end up using or tricking women, but he has his own morals and he might end up saving them as well, if he feels like it. He's an orphan with a Scottish background that lost his parents in a mountain climbing accident with a healthy lust for fast cars and hot girls and occasionally has to make brutal choices. I think switching his background up by changing his gender, race or sexual preference will just erase the entire point of it being James Bond and they will eventually get back to that anyway. So to me they can just skip the whole political correct nonsense phase and just go with another Caucasian heterosexual male like he was always intended to be. In the same vein our beloved franchise has been going strong in a very successful way for over 50 years. Well why do you think it, uh a hero who engages in a dirty trade and leads a basically dirty life has become so popular with the uh, reading public. Well, um, it's very difficult to say. I think because perhaps the books have pace and plenty of action and um, espionage is not regarded by the majority of the public as a dirty trade. They regard it rather as sort of a uh, very romantic affair. I meant for uh, warm-blooded heterosexual adults who are in beds and railway trains and aeroplanes are not meant for schoolboys. So please, Eon, let's keep Bond Ian Fleming's James Bond 007. Don't make it political expectation meeting Bond. Those are just my two cents on the whole matter, and what are yours? Let's get some discussion going. Subscribe to the channel to hear my thoughts on each of the movies and see me discuss various other topics in the James Bond franchise. And make sure you follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook fan page to always get the latest of what's going on on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching.